What's up guys, Wiggs here and I'm back giving you guys a little bit of information on zombies on transit mode um, and the vault. Now I've been trying to get this vault open for quite some time and I finally figured out how to do it. You have to use the fan to blow open one of the outer doors and then you throw one or two grenades at the vault door and it pops right open for you. Uh, here's a quick look at the money boxes and the stash boxes. You go downstairs, there's a few cages and windows where the zombies can come through. Um, and this is where you pack a punch. So people have been asking me for quite some time now, where do you pack a punch and how do you do it on transit mode? And you have to collect all the parts down here. All the parts are downstairs here and you put them into the blueprint and your machine will be right over there where I'm jumping. Um, so there's three windows down here like I explained. So my friends, two people held off these windows in the hallway and two other people held off the stairs where you come down. Um, now we did figure out that the Pack-A-Punch machine allows you to Pack-A-Punch a gun more than one time. Uh, the only gun that we found out that it won't let you Pack-A-Punch more than one time is the Ray Gun and the Ballistic Knives. Now there may be more, but we ended up dying before we can get through all the weapons and the Mystery Box ended up moving, which is why we died, because we ran out of ammo. But, like I said, you can Pack-A-Punch the gun more than one time. It pretty much just gives you a different reticle. It does not give you ammo. Um, let me say that again. If you pack a punch more than one time, it does not give you more ammo. So, use your ammo wisely. The only thing that you'll really get, I think, is a reticle or a different rate of fire. Now, right here, I have the hammer, the H-A-M-R, and you can see it's already pack-a-punched. So, I pack a punch this gun one time. I pop it in for the second time, and watch. It comes out, and boom, reticle on there. Now, the next time when you pack a punch it, it has an ACOG scope on it. And then the fourth time it changes the rate of fire to semi-automatic. Right here is the vault, so you can deposit money into the vault. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that for every thousand dollars that you withdraw out of the vault, it takes a hundred dollars out of that. Um, so you can deposit and withdraw money from here. And the cool thing about this is it stays with you for every zombies that you play. Every map of zombies that you play that is um, relevant to this map, you'll have that money. It doesn't have to be just on transit. So that is a really cool feature that needs to be implied. Um, so yeah, guys, just follow me down um, in the description below on all the links that I have. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching.